Town of the Stripes here in Cavan Town for the launch of their second album, Little Victories. Second album. Right, so guys, um, you, you just finished doing your signing. It's been a really busy day here in Cavan Town. Um, it's gone really well for you. It's been an amazing crowd turned out. Yeah, it was mad. We didn't expect that many people to come. Uh, and yeah, it was really cool. Everyone was cool and got some, well, there's no medals left. There's some medals and some drumsticks and everything. And everybody had a good, good old time. Brilliant. And you literally um, had your uh, main launch yesterday in HMV in Dublin in Dundrum. I saw, you know, social media went mad for that yesterday. Peter, it looked brilliant. It was really fantastic. Yeah, we did one uh, two years ago when we launched the first album, and it's always good. We, we kind of always nice to be in HMV. We're big supporters of CD and record shops, and I think, uh, yeah, it's a shame most of them had to close down. Sad face. Sad face, yeah. Sad emoji. <laughs> no, but no, it was, it was great, and again, the amount of people that turned out again was fantastic, really kind of reassured, and everyone seemed to enjoy it. I think they might have sold out a vinyl there as well, so that's always nice. In the, in the social media fact, uh, apparently Little Victory, hashtag Little Victories was trending last night. It was actually, yeah. Apparently. Brilliant. Okay, so make sure to hashtag Little Victories. Um, obviously, there's been a lot. Um, this, this is the second album, and everybody's kind of been really, you know, holding out for this album to come, and you really haven't disappointed. It was kind of what, you know, your fans were looking for. Yeah, hopefully if people enjoy it when they listen to it. I mean, we've been dying to get it out for months now because we finished recording it in January and uh, I've been kind of sitting on it since then. So it was kind of it was out of our hands really exactly when it was going to come out. So we're delighted that it's you know the day's here. Exactly. You've obviously, you know, you've been evolving, you know, from teenagers into to young men, I would say. But um, this album really reflects that, um, and you've been touring with it. Um, it's been going really well for you so far. And we're going to go to you're the quietest little stripe over here. So I'm going to I'm going to like really target you for a few words. Well, Ross. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing? You enjoying uh, touring with this album? Yes. 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 The bigger question is, he enjoys going with this band. Yeah. This band. This band of no, brothers. Not band. The album's this band. band of brothers. The band isn't. But, um, yeah, no, it's good. We did a few good tours. How many tours? Like. Oh, uh, six yeah. with, with this album we have yeah maybe like up in that really yeah yeah I'm about to do three more so that'll make it at least eleven oh yeah at least eleven yeah so yeah not more we'll be doing a UK tour next month which will take in uh, dates in Dublin and Derry as well so we're doing the Academy on the 24th of September which is the next big Irish gig brilliant um, I was lucky enough to see you guys play at Glastonbury this year and you managed to sneak in there and get a brilliant slot on the other um, other stage which is like for anyone watching that's a massive stage to get yeah. one of the biggest music festivals in the world um, so it was brilliant the crowd you, it went down a storm and you did kind of introduce me I was lucky enough to hear some of your, your new songs on the track yeah yeah no it was great Glastonbury I mean we didn't expect to be doing it and sort of got the call a couple of days beforehand that is Ailey Banks pulled out um, and yeah it was class I mean it's Glastonbury and I, the other stage is the second biggest stage and to even get a crowd at all was mad because we thought you know nobody's expecting us to be there and, and all that but uh, yeah it was class really good it was it was brilliant and then obviously you know you play the slain as well and that was you know that's a huge gig for anyone to get yeah. absolutely yeah it was an amazing day yeah yeah um, we were delighted to be doing it i mean and we had a great crowd we were when we were on it a bit you know we were one of the first on but it was still really huge with the turnout so we were delighted with that and met dave grawl in the evening he was a lovely fella great band great night like anyone in the music business you know is just following you guys it's just mad about what you're doing so it's Thing, better things to come. Tell us a bit more about with the BBC documentary. Gave everybody a bit of an insight into, um, I suppose, where you started and where you are right now. Um, th th there's more to follow. There's part two as yeah. such, and you're busy um, filming that at the moment. Yeah, we did a little bit yesterday down in Dublin, and yeah, Julian and, and, and the crew sort of come every now and then and, and, and film some stuff. We don't really know when it's planned for release or, or, or what's going to happen, but yeah, they're doing bits and bobs, and yeah, it's good. We, we really like the documentary just because. Just because it was really honest and it showed sort of it gave a great sense of Calvin and, and a great sense of the people around Calvin and sort of how that's been good to us. Um, I would just say I love a couple of songs um, oh, I love the album but one of the songs I love in particular and I want you to tell me a bit more about it is Scumbag City Blues so is it Scumbag Cavern Blues or I, I, I just want to know right here yeah, exclusive. It's, yeah it's yeah basically like 
<laughs> but when we yeah, so like when I was 15 or 16 and wanted to move away from Canada and thought it was a shit off. Um, and so that you know, I, there's that whole thing, and then just from being away with the band. And then coming back and then actually loving Calvin and loving, you know, meeting family again and friends and yeah, it's great. It's kept us all really grounded, Calvin. So it's kind of an arc that song. At the end, it's sort of like a positive or something. I don't really know. Uh, but yeah, it's it's about Calvin. Yeah. <laughs> Good to know. You um, have a huge fan base in Japan. I mean, I mean, I suppose you know, for us, we don't know what that's like. What is it like when you arrive in Japan? Because they're just they're just crazy fans. Well, it's mad. I mean, the gigs are really mad because people are, they're very well mannered, but they're really enthusiastic at the same time. So they'll jump around and go crazy when you're playing and then they'll listen really intently when, you know, in between the songs we're talking or whatever. And yeah, they're just really appreciative, but in a very, uh, you know, mannerly way. Yeah, there's no, no mayhem as such, but there's organised chaos. So what's next for you guys? What, where, where are we going to see you next? Um, we're going to be doing a British tour uh, next month, end of September. Then we're going to do a European tour in November, October. October. Which one comes first? October. October yeah. yeah, October comes first, and then no, and then Japan in November then, and then Christmas. Okay, we well, can't wait to catch it one of those gigs. So guys, um, just to sum up, I suppose today, um, Pete. Yeah, um, yeah, our album came out, and I'm busy away doodling here. But, uh, You're the are you? I pretend to be Ross at the real artist. Actually, just maybe tell us a bit about the, this album cover because I know one of the Mammy Stripes was telling me about uh, this yeah, photograph. It's maybe. A picture of Terry Han. Uh, it's from the 60s, I think. Um, and it's uh, Evan's uncle Dermot who's collect, collected loads of photos from Calvin Town. And we just thought it was funny because he's winning the Dog Obedience Prize and his dog's clearly pulling away. Um, and she just looks quite Mrs. Doyle esque. Um, so yeah, we, we really wanted to use it because. Yeah, there was a good like there was a load of photos from Calvin, and we thought that they looked really great. And you know, we always said like, "Geez, that'd be a great album cover. We should definitely do that." And we never did, and we finally did on this. So it was good. It ties in with the whole album and the whole subject of the album. So it's uh, yeah, it's really sort of a home feel. Thing. Okay, well look at guys, we're going to be um, wishing the best of luck with uh, the second album, Little Victories, and it's in the shop, so you can go and get it now, and rem remember to hashtag Little Victories. So it's goodbye from me and the Stripes from Multisound here in Cavan Town. So see you guys. Bye. <laughs>